everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the On Roku TV. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product and wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes back as you right here in a very nice retail box. I love the color scheme that we have going on. I think the orange and white is really sharp and it definitely gets your attention, especially if you're in a Walmart and you're shopping and browsing aisles, you'll find the on products very, very easily. So first thing that caught my eye, two year warranty with product registration, three HDMI inputs, 60 Hertz refresh rate, 720p is our resolution, 32 inches is the screen size, measure diagonally, technically it's 31.5 inches. Here's a nice home screen image of Roku that's built right into this TV. So one remote control to control everything for you, manage your inputs if you still have cable TV, antenna TV, or game consoles or other inputs plugged into this TV. Then you can see all of our different streaming apps that we can download as well. Let's look at it from this side too. They're gonna to give you some more product details. So right here you can see the product dimensions. Also you can see all of our additional connections right there too. We can look at the back side of the box as well too to learn more about the free mobile app you can use to control your TV, which is great. I love the Roku app. Wireless streaming. Also some more technical information for you. This TV weighs a little bit over seven pounds without the stand installed. And then it weighs around 11 pounds if you install the stand. It's got a Visa mounting pattern of 200 by 100 if you wanna mount this TV. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have a lot of wrinkly documents right here. First up, we have our warranty information followed by our product safety information. Then you can see we have a really helpful quick start guide walking us through a ton of different product features right here. Then on the back side, you can see we have customer support information and warranty instructions if you want to take advantage of that two-year warranty. It does come with the one-year warranty out of the box with purchase, but you can get a two-year warranty with product registration. You can text them to do that, which is neat. Let's go ahead. Let's just set that back down here. Then you can see we have our remote control. Everything that we have on it, very easy to navigate. And we also have four pre-installed app buttons right here. This was not of my choice, so you may see different results. In my case, I feel like I hit the lottery. I got Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus. Those are the three streaming services I use the most. You can see it from this side too. We have our mute and our volume controls. Very nice remote. We can also remove the back cover. You can see we do need to install two AAA batteries. And they do include two AAA batteries for you right here. We also have four screws for the included stand. And here are the two legs for that stand right here. So now let's go ahead, let's look at the TV. All right, here we go. We got the TV right here with a nice cover on protecting the screen for us right out of the box. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the product packaging for this television so far. They did a really good job. You can see too, we got the on logo and branding front and center. We have the Roku TV logo and branding off to the right side. Now let's go ahead, let's look at it from the back side. Here you go, you can see on the television, we have our Visa mounting bracket right here if we wanna use that, 200 by 100. We have an integrated power cord, so it is connected directly internally to the television. We have our um, RCA connectors down here, so we got our yellow video, our white left audio, and our red right audio, clearly marked for you. You can see it from this angle too. Pay attention to all the ventilation at the bottom too and the thickness of the television. We can go back to this side again and you can see clearly marked for us are all of our different ports. So we have our USB, our optical audio, our antenna connection. We have HDMI 3, that's our ARC HDMI, HDMI 2, HDMI 1. We have our headphone jack and a reset button for us. Let me flip that up so you guys can see all those ports right there in action. And they are off to the side, so keep that in mind. If you're gonna be mounting your television, make sure that works for you and you have the proper cables that you need. Also, we can take a look at the very bottom of the TV. You can see we have our power button right there. Again, pay attention to the thickness of this TV. Try to rotate it around. We'll look at it this way so you can see it from the side. Thinner at the top, then it gets a lot thicker at the bottom. We'll rotate it around. Here's the other side for you. You can see the side profile right there. Now let's go ahead, let's get the feet installed. So for the leg installation, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Again, they do include all the screws and hardware that you need to install the legs. You can see I already have one installed right here. They only fit one way, so you know that you'll be installing them correctly. They will only go one way. So don't worry if they're pointed in or out. How they have it designed right here with this little piece, 
cut out. It only fits one way, regardless of if it's on the left or the right side. Then you gotta go ahead, let's take our screwdriver right here. Phillips head again, drop the screw in place, and then just start gently tightening it down. Be careful not to over tighten it, but you'll know when it's done. You don't really need to force it any further. So I can feel it tightening down. There we go. And you can see there's no wobble anymore. So let's go ahead just for best practice and measure. Let's put the other screw in. All right, we got it lined up. And again, just gently twist it all into place. Being careful not to strip anything or over tightening it. So we're almost done right there. It's getting snug. There we go. Now you can see we have both of them installed right there. So let's go ahead, let's flip the TV over and ta-da, now we can stand it up right there. So you can see how it looks on the stand. Pretty cool, right? Very simple stand, but it just works for the TV. It looks great too. Here it is from the side profile with the stand. You can see how far the legs stick out. And then here it is from the back side. Again, you can see how everything looks right there. So now that we got the TV on its stand, let's go ahead, let's power it on and try it out. All right, so we got our TV plugged in and powered on. I also went ahead and put those two included batteries into the remote control. This is the first screen you're gonna be at once you plug in your TV and it powers on. Go ahead, select your language. In this case, I'm gonna be choosing English, but you can see all the different options we have. Let's choose English. Then you can choose your country. Now we can choose to set up for home use or store use. Now it's gonna scan for our wireless networks. So it scanned all the nearby networks. You can see all the different choices that we have right here. So go ahead, find your network and connect to it. So we just connected to our wireless network and it automatically initiated a software search for updates. You can see we do have an update available. So let's go ahead, let's get that installed. Now it's gonna work on updating the TV software. Now that we finished our TV updates, we're back at this screen where we're ready to activate our TV. So use a web browser on a computer or your mobile device, enter this URL then enter your code that you see right here in step two, and then the screen will update once you're done. All right, so I'm at the URL with my mobile device. Let's go ahead, let's enter our code, HHQD, hit submit. If you don't have a Roku account, it's very easy to create one. You can see we can name the TV, and then we can choose which room we want to um, use the TV in. Then let's agree to their terms of use, select continue. Now you can see we have a couple different options right here. Then we can choose services that we subscribe to. All right. Then you can see what we're interested in so we can fine tune our preferences and give us a nice channel lineup. Let's just select continue. Let's see if we can proceed. And we can add more channels if we want to install. I don't. And there we go, we have some free trial offers as well too. And you can see the TV's already updating the apps for us right now. Don't want any of those trials, select continue. There we go, check it out, setup is complete. We can install the mobile app or other things if we want. View some tips and tricks as well, but it's that simple. So it updated the apps for us and now we're ready to connect our devices. So let's proceed. Right here, you can see everything is plugged in and turned on. So we're gonna do that right now. We don't have anything connected, honestly. So we're not gonna have anything to set up, honestly. So here we go, we can select nothing, nothing, and nothing. But just keep in mind, if you did have your cable box, satellite TV, Blu-ray player, game console, that sort of thing, you can choose what you want. Heck, even a VCR, a lot of options right there, pretty cool. Computers, tablets, smartphones, so many options. Let's select nothing, nothing. And there we go, we're all done now. So let's go ahead, let's select that and let's go into our TV menu. All right, so here we are guys. This is our Roku home screen with our on TV, check it out. Again, we chose all those apps, but we have plenty of different options to search for more apps to download in the future. If maybe your streaming habits change or you wanna add more channels, or so just browse everything Roku has to offer. So first, let's just go ahead, let's look at everything really quickly with our nice tiles right here. We could jump to live TV if we had cable or an antenna hooked up. We can browse Netflix, Hulu, HGTV, Prime Video. You can see tons of different options right here. Pretty cool. Look at all the apps that we already have installed. Let's go back then. You can see featured free. There's a lot of free content too, which is cool. Thanks to the Roku channel. 
some live TV as well too. So you can browse whatever you're looking for. Great free content, guys. Again, it's free. That's the beauty of it. All right, let's go back. And you can see we have our feed right here. We can browse our feed. We have a movie and TV store by Voodoo. So we can select that. You can see the different options that we have. We can also search right here, guys, for whatever we want. Movies, TV shows, apps, whatever you're looking for. We can browse streaming channels too for featured, new and notable, recommended. We can search for channels, premium services as well. Top free movies and TV, so you can browse different channels with that. Rent or buy movies if you want. Cable alternatives, tons of different options for you. Music, games, apps, comedy. I mean, you can just browse so many different options right there. It's a little bit overwhelming, but very simple and easy to navigate. Then we can view our TV settings right here, our network. We can check the connection, set up a connection, bandwidth saver mode as well. Remotes and devices, we could set up a new device if we wanted. Again, there are other Roku and on accessories you could add. Theme, accessibility, TV picture settings. We can adjust the brightness. So brighter, bright, normal, dark, darker. We currently have it to the max brightness right here. TV inputs, audio, parental controls, home screen. If we want to add a payment method, you can. You can see I currently don't have one added. But again, you could if you want to buy and rent movies, start free trials and subscribe to channels with Roku Pay. You can do that. Then we have our system options down here too. So you can see USB media, screen mirroring if we want to, system update, guest mode. I mean, there's tons of different options right here for you. So there we go. And then we can quickly hit the home button if we want to get back to the home screen. So let's go ahead, let's try out some more features in depth. So I went ahead, I plugged an antenna in so we can get some live TV. I went ahead, I already scanned the channels for you. So let's go ahead, let's bring that up right now. Also pay attention to the fact that Roku actually gives you additional live channels as well that are ad supported, which is cool. So if you don't have an antenna, you can still get some Roku ad supported channels as well. So let's go ahead, let's bring up all the different options that we have right here. So here you go, you can see what we have in my area. Now keep in mind, this will differ depending on your area and which over the air signals your antenna can pick up. So in this case, we have NBC, MeTV, ABC, Court TV, 9.3, 9.4 Escape. So you can see some podcasts, PBS. And then we have some streaming TV channels, ABC News Live, NBC News Now. Looks like we got a Weather Nation channel as well. Again, it's gonna let you know too, the Roku channel streaming live TV. So that's pretty cool guys. So we do have some live TV USA Today right from within Roku, thanks to this. But again, we get additional channels that are local to our area as well if you plug in an antenna right there. So check that out, tons of different options. Let's go back to our over the air channels. After we make it to the bottom right here, gotta be getting close. Tons and tons and tons of options. Thanks to Roku for the live TV. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're gonna hit over 600. Now keep in mind, they're going up pretty quickly. It's not every channel there, but that's cool. So you could probably spend a long time going through all that. Now here's our actual over the air channels. So you can see it right here. We have the audio on too, but I'm gonna change the channels quickly due to copyright. All right, let's go to the next one. So you can see that right there. And then we'll mute that for a second and then we can push the settings option. You can see we have different options right here. Quickly accessible with our remote control. If you want to adjust any of the picture settings, let's go back. And then again, I really like this built-in menu. This is great. You have a nice TV guide. You can browse for the content to see what's going on. Let's go to another channel. Here's 9.1. This is ABC in my area. All right, weak signal strength. So we were able to pick it up with the antenna, but still not able to get it. I'd have to position the antenna somewhere else, maybe closer to a window. Here's court TV. Again, you can see signal strength right now. Here's the bounce TV. Again, signal strength. So we're not getting too many options right here. Again, that'll vary on your area. I don't get a lot of over the air channels where I live anyways. So it's just a bonus. We could pick up a couple. 
Let's see what else we get. Here we go. Looks like we got 14.1 right here. So you can see that. And there's TV. And again, we can adjust the volume too. So you can see that right there. So that's a quick overview of the live TV and all the different options that we get. Again, like I've said throughout this whole video, it's gonna vary depending on your area. And if you have an antenna and what signals are available nearby, you can check all that out online. Now let's go ahead, let's look at another feature. Now I got YouTube pulled up. I wanna show you guys what it's like to stream content from this TV. Really, really a nice experience, again, with the remote control and just the overall Roku operating system. It just makes it very smooth and fluid. So you can see I got my latest video up right here. Let's go ahead, let's push play, and let's give it a watch. Everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the BCW 25 count of top load card holders for cards three inches by four inches. Here's the nice retail box and packaging right here. We can see it from all different sides. On this side, you can see with a nice scale at the bottom from 20 points all the way up to 360 points. This pack in particular holds up to 20 point cards right there. Again, made out of rigid plastic. Just a nice protective holder for you. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. So here are all the package contents. You can see we have 25 of these identical cases right here. They hold your standard. So there we go, you can get a feel for the image quality again, 720p. It's gonna be fine for a TV of this size. I'd love to see 1080p be the default resolution. And honestly, right now it'd be great to have 4K, but again, all of that just continues to make that price point creep up. So again, you can see right here what it's like to stream content with YouTube, or if you want to watch Netflix, Hulu, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead now, let's test out those built-in speakers. So now I have my fancy pantsy microphone set up. This is a binaural microphone. This is gonna allow you to be able to listen in like you were here in the studio watching TV with me. So we got one of my videos pulled up. Let's go ahead, let's push play. Let's listen to the volume at different levels. Just pay attention up here as I adjust the volume so you guys can get a feel for how everything sounds. It goes from zero up to 100. Honestly, after about 60, maybe 75, it doesn't really give you any sort of boost and it doesn't really make a difference if you adjust the volume any higher than that. But I'll show you guys that in this video. So let's go ahead and let's watch. To visible, I highly recommend you check out all the other visible videos on my channel, but I'll give you the Spark Notes version right now. $40 a month for unlimited data, calling and texting. You can also call and text Canada and Mexico as well. And you get unlimited mobile hotspot, $40 a month. That includes your taxes and fees, and there's no other hidden fees. And it's on the Verizon 5G network, so you're getting incredible network speeds and coverage all throughout the U.S. And did I mention that there's a party pay option as well to bring your bill all the way down to $25 a month? And with their referral program, you can bring your bill all the way down to $5 a month for unlimited everything on the Verizon network. Let's jump right in and let's try the Pixel 5 out on Visible. So first up, you can see I have two phones right here. We're gonna test out the messaging on the Visible network using our Pixel 5 and an iPhone SE 2020. Both are actually on the Visible network, so you can see how responsive everything is. Here's the conversation I'm having with myself. You can see how fast the texts come through. Now we're gonna do that same test as we listen to some music on Spotify through the TV. So let's go ahead, let's push play and listen to the song. And again, pay attention up here as I adjust the volume.
So there you go, you can get a feel for what it's like to listen to music on this 32 inch on TV. So now I have the studio lights turned off right here and it's very hard to try to show you guys the difference in the brightness settings that we get with this TV, but they are noticeable in person. So forgive me for having a camera on a screen. It's just very hard to film. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys what we're working with. Currently right now we have the darkest picture settings. You can see it's the darker mode. And now just for the extremes, let me go to the brightest mode. So here's brighter, here's darker. Can you see the difference right there? Again, it really lights me up here in the studio when we switch between the two, but I don't think you'll be able to see that. Maybe just watch my hand. It casts a lot more light when you switch between the two, but that's the two extremes, but we have just a bright mode, a normal mode, a dark mode, and then that darkest, darker mode, whatever you wanna call it. So there's the max bright, the max dark, and then we have a couple different in-between settings, depending on your eyes, your sensitivity, and maybe what content you're typically viewing, you can change those settings right there. So that's a quick look at the TV brightness. So last but not least, I wanted to show you guys what it's like to game on this TV. We're gonna play a quick round of Fortnite right here. Again, the TV specs are as follows, 720p resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate. So let's go ahead, let's fire up a match and try it out. All right, check it out. Everything looks great right here. Currently getting 60 FPS, which is what we are supposed to get with this TV. Again, the resolution 720p. Everything's pretty responsive as you can see right here. Pretty fluid gameplay though, check it out. Not bad. Yes, legendary sniper, let's go. Loving this mode. All golden guns, baby. That's a lot of fun. TV, baby. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after using this TV. As someone whose main TV is the 50 inch 4K version of this TV, and I've been using that TV for over a year, and as someone that's been using Roku Power TVs for the last five years, I can say the best feature by far is the value you get with this television. You can't beat the price and you can't beat the operating system and user experience with Roku TV. It is top notch. So the value is definitely there for everything that you get with this budget-friendly smart TV. I just love all the features that we get with Roku from the simple remote control. It's my favorite remote control of all time. It just reflects the simplicity of their operating system as well. And I like some of the built-in features that I didn't even show you in this video, like the ability to plug in a USB drive to record live TV so we can pause and rewind it for up to 90 minutes. It's a cool, cool feature to have if you're an old school antenna watching person for those over the air channels. And you can use the mobile app to plug in headphones or connect with your mobile device and listen to the TV. That is also a great feature that I think is a little bit underrated in the smart TV space today. Now, with that being said, let me share with you guys some features I wanna see improved in the future. So hands down, the biggest improvement they need to make is with the resolution. I'm blown away in 2021 that you can still buy a brand new TV and only get 720p. This has to be 1080p at a minimum. And they also need to bump up that refresh rate as well from 60 hertz to like 120. That would be fantastic if you wanna do a lot of console gaming with this TV. Also, I'd like to see improvements in the built-in speakers. I get that to keep prices low, they have to make compromises. And a lot of you might just use headphones. You might have your own external speakers and uh, just be nice to have even better quality speakers and audio coming out of the TV. But let me tell you that compared to my 50 inch version of this TV that I have, I actually think these built-in speakers sound better. So take it for what it is. 
Also, along those lines, I'm old school, but I want to have a built-in Ethernet port on the back. I like to hardwire my internet connections whenever possible. You can call me old school, but I'd like to have the option and not use it, then need it and not have it. Nothing wrong with the Wi-Fi. Everything's worked great, but I would just like to have that port added to the back, especially because some of their larger size TVs, like my 50-inch version, do have that port. Also, the last feature I want to point out that I want to see improved has to do actually with the remote control. As a longtime Roku user here, you'll notice if you start to use Roku products more frequently that these buttons change at the bottom depending on the TV you buy and like the time of year you buy it too. So I believe that Roku probably sells those placements to those streaming services. And unfortunately, there might be some of those buttons that you don't use. For me, I felt like I hit the lottery with this remote control because I actually use three of those streaming services, but I still don't use the Voodoo button. So it's just a dead, useless button on my remote control. I wish that they gave us the ability to pre-program those or customize them ourselves. That would be so cool if we could just customize the remote control. Or I get it, if there's a licensing issue and they sell those buttons, Roku, can you give us two more buttons at the bottom that are just like two different colors, red and orange or red and blue, whatever, and then we can just program those two. That would be a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic upgrade to what I think is already the best remote control on the market for a TV today. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.